Pandora friends, my name is Leanne and I am mad for Pandora. Welcome back to another video. Today I would like to share what I got for Mother's Day. Now I didn't get any presents from my human children but I did get a present from my beautiful Bundy. Now I guess you're looking at that page and going well which one is it? <laughs> and it's definitely one of the ones on the page. So I decided to style my bracelet and it's probably about time I showed you my puppy doll bracelet. But this is the gorgeous charm I got for Mother's Day. So I wasn't 100% sold on this based on that it is quite blingy. But my dog says I love you all the time. So I do like the idea of this charm. And the other thing I really love about it is if you can see the dog dangle that I have for Bundy and you have seen pictures of Bundy he's got his little ears that flop down like that when he was a puppy he actually looked like a baby Labrador so I really do love this charm and I've had this one for quite a long time so when I saw this one I thought got the same little ears and it's super cute. So I've added this to my bracelet and I've restyled it a little bit but I've never shown it to you so I did clean it all up and make sure it was really really nice. So I will go through this bracelet with you. So the bracelet that I have it on is absolutely gorgeous. Now it took me a long time to buy this bracelet. We did find my daughter and I, she was actually looking for it and we found one each down at the Termside store a few years ago and it is such a nice bracelet. The clasp is a little bit bigger than normal. And unlike the Mother's Day bracelet that they brought out with the dangling heart, the actual round clasp is just perfect for the design. Now I really, really love this. <laughs> and it says love and I love the little script and I love the little dangling heart. I don't know why I didn't notice it sooner, but when we, my daughter drew my attention to it, I was like, that is so nice. But it's the perfect bracelet to put my loved ones on. Now the clasp, the bracelet is actually called the Pandora Moments Freehand Heart Clasp Snack Chain. And it's just plain on that side. But it's a really nice, good, strong clasp, which I really love. And the safety chain I have is called the Love Connection. So I really love this one. I do have only one of these ones. And this is one of the original safety chains. And I think it's still available. It's just a really nice safety chain. I'm not sure why it took me so many years to buy it. Now this first charm here is so cute. Now this has got cubic zirconias all over it in a parve sort of design but you can barely feel them actually they're really set in and it's really really cool and it's just called Paw Prince but it's really really cute. And then this next one, now this is one of the few bracelets that I have designed with all the dangles facing down my arm. Now you'll see why I've done that because I don't really have a choice. Um, it's not my preference but it seems to 
feel better and flow better on my arm. So it's going to be a little bit tricky for me showing because I'm used to showing it up the other way. Now this one here, I used to have it in the middle of my bracelet and this one is so, so cute. I believe this one retired recently. So this one's just got the little paw print and then it says paw prints on my heart. Like how cute is that? But what I love about this design is it doesn't have any cubic zirconias. It's really nice and I don't know if you'll be able to see. I'll try and show you. If you look there you can actually see little paw prints. One up the top and one down the bottom. And I think that's such a nice little tasteful thing. And this one here also has them. But it's got the S95 ALE as well. How cute is that? That's so cute. I love that. So I really do love that dangle. Now this one here I've had for a very, very long time. And it's just got the little bone in the bowl and it says woof and a heart, a little paw print and then S95 ALE, another woof. So it's the same on both sides. But I really love that and that's obviously to represent Bunny's little dog bowl. Now this charm here is super, super cute. Now this is the little Disney Pluto, but obviously I didn't get it to represent Pluto. <laughs> I got this to represent my little grand puppy and he is so, so cute. And I love his little ears. Now he is a Maltese Shih Tzu Silky and he has these really long floppy ears because my daughter doesn't cut his ears but they're really dark so they're just absolutely gorgeous. But I was tossing up between the Lady and the Tramp one and this one but the Lady and the Tramp looks more like a girl and I don't know I just look at this one and I see his little funny little smile and just his little character so I pick this one obviously it's an animated version of him but look at the little dope little ball prints like that's probably my favorite part of the whole charm look at that how cute are they absolutely adorable attention to detail for this charm for sure and there's a little green um, enamel i don't know what it is a scarf or a little collar or something on him but so cute and i love him so much now this next one here i've had for a while now this is the little sneaker now obviously this is to represent going for walks. It's got a little clear CZ there. It's got quite a lot of detail on it for something so tiny. I love the back of it. So flip it over. It's got the little hearts all over the bottom. I think that's really cool. And the next one I have, I sort of tossed up a bit between having one with just hearts on it, but I ended up putting the bow clips on. They are really, really chunky clip, like really chunky. I do have Pandora and these are retired. Um, they've got some cubic zirconias. But the idea of having the bows is like it's a collar. So it's the closest thing I could have sort of to a collar. Now I am waiting for Pandora to make a few more 
dog things like I need spaces with little puppy paw prints on them or like just plain ones with little cutouts would be great. No cubic zirconias and maybe some clips. There's a few things I need. <laughs> um, you could even do like a like a safety chain with like little paw prints on the safety chain or I don't know, maybe one dangling or something from it. But I am happy to change up this bracelet if Pandora does bring out more little dog stuff. Now these ones here are just incredibly well made. I do have them, I have four of these. I do have them as earrings as well on the post. I mean, I wish they sort of hung up the other way when I had them on the post, but they're on their sides. Now these are called open work paw prints and they are really nice, but they're like a really shiny high shine silver. So they're really, really nice. But like, look at the sides. Like this is what I want. Little spaces with this idea. A little cut out ideas like that's so cute and then I've shown you this this is also in the book now I'll tell you how much it is okay it's called heart and dog and that's the code sorry that's the code for it Kind of a bit weird that they called it that, but anyway, I'll pop that out out the way. But yeah, it is quite cute. Like I would have been happy if the CZs were beta detail because I'm very hesitant to get things that have a lot of um, cubic zirconias but it should be fine i'm sure it's fine and i don't think this one's got any paw prints no it doesn't no the little spacer that i have is like the ones i put on my day and night bracelet so they're just really really tiny They're just called long curve lines. Now I've more or less just done that to try and take up a little bit of the slack that's in between there. And I do think it actually brings out the angelic feather. So this one here, I did end up buying off my daughter. I do regret not buying one. Like how gorgeous is this charm? Like the detail, it's just incredible. I think she's gonna regret selling it to me actually. Like look at the detail. That's insane, the detail on this charm. Just so, so beautiful. Like, it just blows me away, the detail on this charm. Like, it's just incredible. Not even sure I know where the hallmarks are on it. It's so detailed. I'm sure they're in there somewhere. But I know she bought it from the store, so <laughs> I'm not worried about that. But it's quite a heavy charm. It is a screw on one as well. It's just beautiful. Now, I know angel wings and stuff would normally represent someone passing, but I mean, I basically got this on because, you know, like our dogs are our angels. <laughs> They're angels with four legs. They're just beautiful and it brings so much joy to our lives. So that's more or less why I have that on here. And obviously this is little Bundy, so cute. And he's got a tiny little bone which dangles. I don't know if you can see that, it's just so, so tiny. And it's got a tiny little heart and like, oh, 
these little paw prints on him. Look at them. The detail and the detail under there. Like, how cute is that? I love this range of dogs, dangles and the little cat one and stuff they brought out. Really, really beautiful. If you want one that represents your dog and you have one that looks like it, it's really good. I do wish they'd bring out more breeds. I think they should. Like if they had a had like a Maltese in this, I would have got that. But yeah, this one really represents Bundy, so really, really happy with that one. Look, look at his tail. So cute. Absolutely adorable little charm. And they're really well made, like really strong and sturdy, quite heavy actually. And then I've got repeats. And then this one here, I've had for a very long time. It says, I love my dog and it's got cubic conies on it and it's just the little bone and it's called I love my dog so it's not really called the bone or anything but this is one of the problems I have with cubic zirconias see how these couple of I don't know if you'll be able to see it couple of the middle cubic zirconias are actually set in a little bit more than the others and I always can notice that when the light hits it and stuff but if you look at it you can't really tell that much but yeah it's just right in the middle I don't know I guess I'm just a bit fussy with things like that but it's one of the things that really annoy me so you can see it like that Anyway, um, this one here represents my beautiful little granddaughter that passed away last year. And she was a Japanese Spitz. And this is the closest we could get because I don't know how to say it, but she's a, this is a Japanese A-K-I-T-A-I-N-U. So I'm not sure how to say that. Um, super cute looks like her gorgeous little smile and she had the little pokey up ears so this is a really good charm to represent her doesn't have any little puppy paw print no it doesn't have the paw prints on the feet but it is a very nice little charm and it represents that she was a Japanese spit so it's pretty cool but yeah we miss her she is beautiful didn't love Nana as much as she loved Poppy but she's still a very beautiful girl and this one here I sort of bought for a different reason um, but I end up popping it on this bracelet because this is the perfect representation for when we go for walks. Bundy has his own little backpack. It's one I got from the exhibition, um, like our show, and it's got like dog ears and stuff like that. It's like a little dog and it's so cute. But this is a really nice charm. But this is another reason I had to style the bracelet with my, dang, my, my charms down because this one doesn't like being upside down and neither do these ones. And then this one here I got for um, Valentine's Day a few years ago, probably about three years ago now I think when it came out. And I do really love the veil on this one. I love that it's a collar. And this is my husband and I and it says opposites attract. So that's definitely us because we are very opposite in a lot of things. But I think that's really cool. And it does have like the skyline of the city which is really cool. But I've just got that one on here because obviously it's like a dog thing. 
um, and this is sort of like a family sort of thing with our puppy and grandkids so this one here is to represent all the photos we take of our dogs and I really like this one it's um, really well made it's got a lot of detail and this one's called sentimental snapshots oh this one's just called um, a bench bag and this one's called Disney's Lady and the Tramp but I will put pop all the codes and all the names in the description so check that out if you're trying to find something and want to look it up but yeah I really love this um, I do like the new edition and sort of changed it around a little bit I did used to have the old um, flip-flop um, thong on the end here but I've popped this one at the back and done it opposite this one now so it's a little bit more balanced and then pop that one at the front so I think one shoe is probably enough for representing going for walks although we walk on the beach and the path so obviously you wear different footwear but I am wearing this with my um, Pandora Me bracelet with the little heart dangle and I did end up also for Mother's Day to qualify for the bangle. I got um, a second one of the little silver heart so I'm wearing that on my necklace, on my Pandora Me necklace. So I sort of have a matching set now and um, I'm really enjoying wearing that because my husband always says that um, necklace sort of looks a bit like a dog collar or something you'd put around a dog so <laughs> that's all right I don't mind um, it's a nice simple thing if we're going to the beach or whatever you know I don't have to worry about a long chain or anything like that um, yeah and I just wear like simple I've got a silver heart ring and different things that I wear with it so I keep it fairly plain and yeah no it's really good that I it's not quite finished but I thought it was enough to show you and I did want to show you the little Mother's Day charm um, which is the main reason for showing it now and the other thing I bought as my gift was purchased was just um, one of the plain moments um, bracelets for my beach bracelet so sort of changed that around a little bit as well so I will show you that in a further video but I didn't get anything terribly exciting I mean this was the nicest thing I probably got from the Mother's Day spend but I sort of have to keep my priorities of what I need versus what I just want that's really pretty and nice and all that sort of stuff because I'm trying not to have too many things um, I'm just trying to complete what I have anyway um, I hope you enjoyed seeing my puppy doll bracelet um, until next time take care mm -hmm.